This video is brought to you by the makers of Senselip, the undergarment for men that solves sensitivity problems. Hi everybody, welcome back to Yes Review. I'm Jim and today we're going to be having a look at a really good camera bag made by BagSmart. Uh, this is the BagSmart Rookin, very very similar to the New York. I have both of these bags. Unfortunately my New York bag is at my other studio and due to Covid um, I can't go and pick it up. But the specifications are almost identical apart from one small feature on the New York bag you have brown leather straps here instead of these chromium plated buckles. I think that's just about the only difference. It is a very substantial bag and it comes in a very strong box. I ordered this on Amazon uh, along with my other camera bags and um, forget about flat packed camera bags. Don't ever get anything in a plastic bag. It's got to come in a box, otherwise they get crushed. Right, overall features of this bag, it's rigid. It's designed to take some serious weight inside the bag. The measurements 44 centimeters, 32 centimeters, and 16 centimeters deep. That's good. You can put your lenses in vertically. This is, I would say, a very large camera bag as opposed to a large camera bag, and it might be too big for some. If you're like me, I have many different carry, carry bags, camera bags for various photographic assignments, and I love this bag along with my New York bag. Now, as I say, the only difference with the New York bag is that it's got brown leather straps here. This is made out of 210 denier water repellent polyester, and it weighs in at 2.4 kilos, which is not particularly light, or 4.6 pounds. Let's take a closer look. At the back of the bag, you've got a very well padded back to it, fully aerated, and the straps are very substantial. It also has a cross strap which you can link up if you're out hiking. We'll come back to the back in a moment. On the top we have a good strong leather handle and at the sides we have a very substantial tripod holder and for balance the bottom of the tripod is now going to be below the base if you can see on there and that can take quite a substantial tripod very cleverly done okay flip it over we've now got a expandable pocket here which you can put a water bottle in there or some other photographic accessory and remember don't ever put water bottles in your camera bag I've learned the hard way with that one I'm afraid to say right we'll open up the front and we'll have a look at the first compartment good solid lid to it good zips and in the front pocket which is three dimensional by the way it's not completely flat with the bag so you can get some proper gear in there you've got enough space in there to get your mobile phone in there uh, your seven inch tablet, numerous batteries, SD cards, cables, cords, and whatever else you'd like to put in there. Um, that's very good. We'll zip that back up again. And at the top here, we've got the compartment which you can access from the front of the bag. And inside you have an accessory pack. Inside the accessory pack you have enough space to put your flash guns, your leads, your cables, batteries, etc, etc, or your Mavic dome, uh, drone plus batteries. It also has a zips compartment there which you can put in even more accessories. We'll zip that back up again and we'll put this back in the camera bag and we'll go back to where we started off from which is the back of the camera bag. Now, I like camera bags that can't be accessed from this side. So nobody can get to my camera gear from here. 
The only way you can get your camera gear out is to take off the rucksack. Some of you won't like that, but it's too bad. So, now we get the zip open. We've got enough room here to take, this is padded by the way, that will take your 17 inch laptop. And here you have your main camera compartment, which has a splash proof shield over it, which is fantastic if you're out there in the wet. Flip that open and now you have, I did say it was a very large camera bag, you now have acres and acres of space in there and you also have access to your top box accessory which is here which you can also take out and the compartment dividers are all reinf reinforced with plastic inserts inside the padding so they don't flop around too much. This bag is designed to take heavy gear and it will not go out of shape when you put in 12 kilograms of camera equipment. It st all stays in one piece. This is um, a Nikon Z 2.8 uh, to 24-70 lens. There's a big bit of kit and the great thing is you can put it in vertically along with all your other lenses. You can fill this thing up. I'm not going to tell you how many lenses you can put in here because um, you can have six or seven lenses and three camera bodies and numerous accessories including flash and it's going to be well big enough for that. Um, obviously the inside compartments are all interchangeable usual thing but these don't bend too much they've all got plastic inserts inside them unlike most camera bags so these are designed for taking a bit of a, a heavy weight inside um, so overall I would say I'm very pleased with my bag smart ruck and rucksack which is this one and I'm very pleased with my New York bag which is virtually identical. I bought both of these on Amazon and I bought them for a very good price. Obviously, as time goes on, the prices of these things do change. But I'm gonna recommend this as a very good, very large camera bag and I don't think anyone is gonna be disappointed with it. Now, if there is one small downside to it, um, I wish that the bottom of this bag had some kind of reinforcement, rubber enforcement on the bottom, but it hasn't. Now, I've actually customized a lot of my bags and I've bought some rubber strips and just glued them onto the bottom so that when you stand them up on a wet pavement, um, the bag itself doesn't get wet. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention about this, there's a zipped compartment at the bottom. And of course it has your usual cover all to go over the bag if it's pouring down with rain but as a tip I always take a very large um, garbage bin liner in my camera bag so if I ever get caught out in a downpour I can put that cover on and then put the whole thing inside a bin liner and that saves everything from getting soaking wet and I'm, a, I'm an expert at getting photographic gear soaking wet believe me and I don't want to do it anymore anyway there we have it bag smart ruckin bag smart New York if you've enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up and if you wish to see any more videos from yes review please press the subscribe button thank you for watching see you again soon thank you for watching this video was brought to you by the makers of Sensvip, the undergarment for men that solves sensitivity problems.